Oh guys, okay, first things first. Thank you so much to my patrons. You guys are awesome and you make it possible to bring these art videos for you. And if you wanna be a patron of the arts, please support with a small or large donation. Link it to the PayPal in my description box. And you guys, even those little $5, $10 donations, they totally help my channel. Also, don't forget my live auctions coming on December 1st at 4 p.m. West Coast time. And listen, I just put out a video yesterday on the preview for the auction. So you get to see some of the pieces that I'm gonna be listing low opening bids you guys low because i'm trying to say thank you for all your support and all that you guys do for me and so i wanted to make sure that everything is affordable so i started out very low and then also it's not going to be everything um that i have i'm going to be painting a couple smaller pieces that i want to add to the auction so I wanted to show you layering my cup. Now in the bottom is a satin enamel and then the colors that I used in this were the first a plum, a teal, a blue, uh, a golden green, and then a turquoise. And then the very very bottom is the satin enamel white. There's also 24 karat gold in here and that is not that's the deco art 24 karat gold not the golden fluids but oh my gosh you guys i am so excited about this painting <laughs> i'm so excited about this video like you know sometimes i can't contain myself and i truly am excited to share this one with you this is really fun and special it was just a really cool painting it surprised me and um yeah, so I'm just excited to share it with you. Um, one thing I did want to bring up before we go, this is the first cup, by the way, and before I show you the second one, check out Cause Creations Art. If you guys don't know Kathleen Osmore, she just started her channel, Cause Creations Art. Her first tutorial video is coming out Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Link in the description box. She's an awesome artist and Courtney Holscher is her teacher, so you'll see the influence there when you see her art, and I helped produce her video. And so, it's just a mutual admiration society <laughs> going on, um, but I just wanna make sure to give her a little shout out because it's exciting. So you can see I'm just um, using a second cup here one thing I did want to mention I also had a metallic cobalt blue in the second cup the only thing I'm really trying to do is make sure that the blues uh, I'm sorry that the green and the plum don't touch that's makes brown so you don't want to do that this is a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas you guys that I clearly didn't work out for me before so I put a puddle on there of satin enamel white mixed with the Artist Loft, and that's the 50-50 blend that Melly D created for her cloud mix. And I just add a little bit of water to it. That is a gorgeous shot right there. Look at that, you guys. And I purposefully made this video to um, give you some eye candy. It's a lot more work when you have more than one camera going uh, you have to edit twice as much basically but yeah I think you guys are worth it every once in a while I just want to give you like a really beautiful video with all the lovely all the lovely shots of different angles and stuff of the camera now you can see one thing for people who are maybe new see how I'm moving my cup that up and down motion, um, I guess it would be back and forth, um, you get those beautiful fingers and versus a straight pour, which means you're just holding the cup still. So it does change what happens when you shake the cup. And I just wanted to give this little swirl 
to spread some of that paint out a little bit. And then this is the second cup. This one's a lot fuller. That's a straight pour right there. See how I'm not moving the cup at all. I'm just letting the paint straight pour into the canvas. Now that can, this little technique right here, this little, um, you know, I think it can be called, I've heard it called a jiggle or, um, I don't, it makes these little fingers. And um, sometimes I'll do, a, a, if I do a circle, then that's a ring pour. Um, and then you see I'm just kind of going side to side here to create a different effect. You know, every way that you change um, your cup, you'll get a different effect and different looks. Different lines are created. And I like doing a, a multitude of those during the pour because it really makes a lot of interest at the end. And this painting is nothing if it's not interesting. I swear you guys, I, uh, look at that. So that is a ton of the plum color coming out at the very end because I put that at the bottom of my cup along with the satin enamel white mix. So, that's why I'm getting all that at the very end. And I just wanted to keep that plum away from the green. Like I said, you don't want to make brown. Red and green make brown or gray. It's not a pretty color. But this is one way you can avoid a muddy look in your painting is by separating colors that when they mix will make something gross. So that's what I did in this pour. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you guys this painting. Literally, I'm, I feel giddy. I mean, I spent a lot of time editing this video. It is a lot more work when there's two cameras. But I really wanted you to have a little bit of eye candy on this one, so I set up a couple different cameras. And oh gosh, the painting even kind of surprised me. This tool is the catalyst wedge and the catalyst wedge has a bunch of different edges to it it's just um, it's just an artist tool that you can use and I decided I, I never like the end little um, circle of the ring pores so I thought I'm gonna just try from the very beginning to get a different look so I just swiped my little catalyst wedge through here and actually then that ended up being the name of the painting is catalyst because you'll see at the end why it why I named it that way but also because of the catalyst wedge I don't I'm not associated with them but you can actually find the catalyst wedges on Amazon pretty inexpensive but I wanted to show you look at that look at that edge you guys <laughs> Those gallery wrap canvases are so pretty for the edges. Now, you'll see a lot of times I tilt my canvases off the same way. I start with one side and then I go to the next side that's closest and then the next side that's closest and then finally the last side. I hear a lot of you wanting to avoid the zigzag look and that is how you do it you start with the paint on one edge and you take it off and then you take it off the next closest edge and then the next closest edge. Now you can see I'm not tilting it all over the place. I literally tilt four times and even though on a lot of my paintings and I take you on a lot of painting journeys you, if you go back and look, I do this a lot, and this is why. And this is how I get those beautiful, clean, smooth flowing lines in my paintings. And I look at the pearl cells that developed on that right side. Those white pearl looking cells, aren't they pretty? I think it's the satin enamel that I rubbed um, around the original pore that did that and then also you really do have to take a lot of the extra paint off to get that look um, I've made those pearl cells before but now I thought I just want to add something in the center but 
if you'll see, I, mean, I really struggle. When I use a lot of satin enamel, I struggle with my balloon rolls. It's like the white paint eats it up. Now, I added a little bit of the high flow copper in there. I thought, I just want to give it like a little bling in the center. But man, it, I just wasn't getting any definition. I wasn't getting any pretty lines. Um, I took more high flow copper and I just started making um, a flower for my balloon roll. It, I was struggling with this one. I, I mean, not struggling terribly, but honestly, like it just was not coming together in the way that I had hoped so I decided there's too much paint on there and that was part of the issue if your balloon rolls aren't working it could be that you have too much paint on your canvas and it just keeps folding in on itself after you roll the balloon across and um, that's one of the issues with balloon rolls now you can see I dumped the extra paint off my canvas but look I still I still have no good luck with my balloon rolls so I <laughs> take my little catalyst wedge and I scrape it off and you know there's always a risk when you do stuff like this it does not always turn out and sometimes you ruin a painting but look how pretty the rest of the painting is you guys so in my mind I'm thinking I'm gonna find a way to figure this out so I scrape it off and then luckily I have a lot of the same colored paints left over. So all my paints today you guys were mixed with Floetrol and um, the fluids were mixed like, you know, three parts uh, Floetrol to one part paint and the heavy body paints or were all well there were, actually I didn't use any heavy body today I just used like the 24 karat deco art that that's one to one one part flow trawl to one part deco art so my paints were fairly I would say they were fairly thick um, and I just want to do a swipe here the thing is when you do stuff like this you want to make it look somewhat natural and you want to think about how the, all the colors are going to look once the the swipe color. Oh, look at that edge, you guys. <laughs> I purposefully edited it like that so you could see that little pearl cell edge. But um, So when you do the swipe color, I like do This is actually a deep blue that I put a little bit of um, bone black in just to make it kind of dark, but it's not black. It does kind of look like that on camera, but it's actually blue. And I put a little bit of water in there because it's great to swipe with a color that is a little thinner, with a paint that's a little thinner. So no, there's no silicone, none. No silicone at all. And look at all the pretty little cells popping up. I don't have to use a torch and I don't have to use silicone. I just use a diluted paint over the top of a heavier paint. And that's how that happens. And then I put high flow pearl. Now the reason I did this is because I wanted to create a light area, an area, a point of lightness that once the painting dries, that high flow pearl is extremely metallic. So it's it dries just really if you guys haven't tried golden brown products, they're amazing and their iridescent line is unlike any other line I've ever tried and I've tried a lot of paints you guys and I got to tell you it's um it's amazing. So this this high flow pearl, I decide to use my airbrush and kind of blend it in right there. I'm thinking like a comet look or something. And then I decided I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I want a continuity, but I'm definitely not going to disrupt those beautiful white pearl cells over there. So 
I take my tool, my catalyst wedge, and I scrape that off. This is a different wedge here that doesn't have the, the comb uh, tooth on it. I've been using those for my little mixed media pieces and stuff. It's been pretty cool. I haven't showed you guys all of them, but... So then I just decide I'm going to do another swipe on this side. I'm not as careful because I'm getting tired. I edited this painting, but it took a couple hours, and I'm starting to get um, tired here. So you can see I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, not as careful necessarily. But it actually doesn't matter because it turns out the same. Um, it turns out just as pretty. So I add the uh, dark blue black again because I want to join these two sides together to make it look like it was purposeful and look at the cells that start to develop again so pretty and no silicone whatsoever I take you in for a little bit of a closer look here so you guys can see see how that happens it's magical right before your eyes that is the magical beauty of a swipe and don't ever underestimate the simple techniques you guys I know I do a lot of complex looking techniques but honestly my paintings are combinations of very simple techniques one on top of the other and it makes it accessible to everyone really who can't do a swipe and who can't do a dirty pour right so I'm about to show you this one under the light so you can really see here is right after I painted this is wet right after I painted it and I want to show you the metallics look how gorgeous and rich oh my gosh love that area right there where the teals and the gold and oh it's so pretty and there's the gold just popping through and it created all that beautiful lacing there's a lot of cells in this piece this would not this would be a piece for someone not be a piece for someone who doesn't like cells but man it has a great composition and flow to it. I think you could hang it any way you wanted to. Um, here's the final piece, you guys. Isn't it gorgeous? And look at how it dried. I want to show you. It's still so vibrant and pretty. You guys, contact me about this piece if you're interested. And I would love for you to make it yours. That's the piece dried, you guys. Don't forget my live auction. I'm so excited to see you guys there December 1st at 4 p.m. West Coast time. And thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to support my channel, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.